if you're experiencing hot flashes, either as a female or as a male, this is a presentation that may give you some natural considerations for hot flashes. So let's get right into it. My name is Dr. Jason West. I'm in private practice. I've been in practice for 22 years and I take care a lot of imbalances. One of the primary concerns or complaints, particularly with perimenopausal and menopausal women, and also a segment of men, is hot flashes. And so I would like to share with you some ideas and considerations around that, because if it's ever happened to you that you're having too many hormones in your system, where you have unexpected beads of perspiration breaking out on your upper lip, seemingly out of nowhere, you know, is it a hot flash? Is it just hot in here? And you can have these intense waves that, of heat that are coursing through your body and drenches you with sweat, causing a flushed face, a blotchy chest. Then you get cold, and it's a hot flash. When it occurs, it's unmistakable in its fury. And so what I wanted to share with you is some considerations of how we can help the hormone system, number one, for females, and number two, how it occurs in men. So let's start off with women's hot flashes and go through this and talk about that 80% of women have hot flashes. They experience it sometime during their life. They usually begin the years before periods stop and then they stop completely at menopause. And then what happens is that the thyroid and the adrenal glands are literally supposed to take over for the ovaries. And when the ovaries don't completely stop, so you have a, a workforce that is now ramping up their workload, and then the ovaries catch fire. It's almost like a sputtering motor. What happens is you get this hormone imbalance or hot flash. And so what it can cause is sudden body heat, weight gain, mood swings, depression, loss of libido, or sexual dysfunction. And the traditional approach has been hormone replacement therapy, but we're concerned with estrogen for the risk for breast cancer or blood clots, and not enough providers are utilizing progesterone, which I think is the miracle hormone. And when a couple of those cautions, especially for dietary intake, is soy isoflavoins, as soy, I don't like it because it's literally a phyto or xenoestrogen, which it means it kind of tricks your body into thinking it's an estrogen and inflammatory foods, some types of antidepressants and smoking are also risk factors for hot flashes. So some treatment considerations for this. And before I forget, I need to give a little bit of, of advice for men that experience hot flashes because of low cortisol levels, chronic stress, or imbalanced testosterone. The treatment considerations are the same. What we want to do is we want to balance body chemistry do a blood cell count, a metabolic panel, look at your T3, your T4, your TSH, do some hormone testing for estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHES, and cortisol, making sure that the pituitary is balanced. And what's fun about working with people that have considerations for hot flashes is when you give some nutritional support for the pituitary gland, like in the form of manganese or glandular support, many types of hormone conditions literally will go away. Now, some herbal considerations for hot flashes. Black coash is a popular herb for treating hot flashes. The root of the plant is in capsules. Sometimes you can pick it up as a tea. We're not exactly sure of all of the specific mechanisms, but we believe that it binds up with estrogen receptors and stimulates serotonin markers. So what does that mean? It means that it helps to reduce estrogen by binding up the receptors but it also has a nice uh, you know, happiness effect because it's helping in the serotonin pathway. Some other considerations that I would recommend for people to check out or consider, and this is widely available, is to do something on your female support, looking how to support your adrenal glands. EFA stands for essential fatty acids. I love something called DIM. DIM is a hormone scavenger. What it does, it's like little Pac-Man for excessive hor hor hormones. I absolutely love DIM. And the reason why that I have DHEAS starred is because DHEA is the master hormone regulating stress. Now, remember, stress is not a disease. It just makes every disease worse. 
And so if you're looking at a, hormone, a cortisol test, like a hormone test, or if you do what's called Raglan's test inside the office where you take your blood pressure lying down, I'm kind of trying to get oriented right, and then you have people stand up, you want to make sure that the blood pressure goes up in that situation, not the pulse rate. It's a really simple test to do. I've talked a lot about it in YouTube videos called Raglan's test, and it gets and give us some input on hormone testing. So if you're having hot flashes, would you consider looking at the adrenal glands, the thyroid balance, the pituitary? It's not just always about estrogen therapy. And using things like black cohosh, essential fatty acids, um, looking at pituitary support. My favorite mineral to recommend to people is manganese, which frequently gets infused with magnesium. But you put mangane manganese in the system, it helps to regulate pituitary function. It also has a key component in helping ligaments to be strong. If you're a male, we would also consider using some type of testosterone support program. I like using testosterone precursors, not necessarily testosterone, because it helps the body to use or to make testosterone naturally versus taking it from the outside and creating a dependency down the road for some patients. So if you're interested in having some hormone support therapy, you can check us out at westcliniconline.com. We help people across the street or across the country. If you're looking for a do-it-yourself module, check out my show every Wednesday night, drjasonwest.live, where we talk about patient success stories and different types of intervention. And if you need some ideas or suggestions for how to get your health back, check out the link in the comments for one of the programs that I put together for males and females. That's just a real quick overview on hot flashes. I hope you got value out of this. I hope that you live here and not down here, that you live, you just don't exist. This is Dr. Jason West, and I'll see you on the next video.